Hey everybody, Don Dabney from Left Coast Classics, and this is just a super cool 1964 Ford Thunderbird convertible. And uh, in this video, I'm gonna take you around the car, I'm gonna take you underneath the car, but first buckle up, because I'm gonna take you for a ride in it. All right, so the car just gets up and goes. It runs nicely, it starts easily. We're up around 55 miles an hour. It's nice and smooth. We have working radio, working heater, horn, lights, blinkers, power windows, top. The wipers are not operating. The, uh, the slide away steering wheel is not sliding away, so just be aware of that. It doesn't really affect anything, it just means the steering doesn't slide away. And the emergency brake is supposed to release itself in drive, but for some reason it's just doing it when you start the car. So be aware of those items. I don't think anything here merits concern in my opinion, but uh, everything else is nicely functional and I love how original the car feels. I know that the uh, interior I think is 100% original with the exception of the carpets. Uh, the top looks to be totally original. It's not perfect, but it seals up the car fine. And uh, the car appears to have been repainted once in its correct Wimbledon white. So it looks nice. The, uh, you'll see the engine compartment's nice and clean. And uh, it's just a cool car. It's a cool cruiser for sure. All right, so I'm gonna pull over here. And uh, anyway, thanks for checking out this cool 64 Ford Thunderbird. Uh, if you have any more, you know, any questions, you can always call or text me. My number should be down below. Also, if you're seeing this on a third party website, you should go over to my website, which is leftcoastclassics.com. Left, opposite of right, not, not my politics, just my location. But over there, I've got a secondary set of photos. So there's a lot more photos over there. So you should check that out. Also, when you're on my website, you can subscribe to whatever social media links we have up there. That's always kind of fun. And uh, you're watching the video, please subscribe and like and hit the notification bell because I do a lot of great videos, which is fun. Even if you're not going to buy a car, it's fun to watch and take a ride in a new car all the time. And uh, oh, and three episodes of Wheeler Dealers. We have uh, 20, I don't know when that was. It was a long time ago. We did one in the Ed China days with a 57 Ford Thunderbird. That'd be this one right here. And uh, then I think in 2018, it was a uh, a 72 Lancia Fulvia. And then the last episode was a, a really fun episode. It was a little different than most Wheeler Dealer episodes. And that was for uh, December 2020 that aired on Motor Trend. That's a 19, I think it was a 64 Triumph TR4, a one owner car. So be sure to check all those out on Motor Trend. Thanks for checking out this T-Bird.
just nothing like these big birds. They are just so nice to drive. They're so huge. It's just, it's a living room on wheels. This car really takes off. My estimate is, and I believe these 91,000 miles are the original miles, and the motor just runs strong and it has plenty of power. As with an original motor from the early 60s, 1964, uh, running unleaded fuel, it can give you a little blue smoke from time to time, and uh, that's to be expected. I know the car just has not had a lot of miles over the last several years, so that could loosen up with some use and some additives. And uh, it's not bad, but it does exist if you're new to classic cars. You may not know that, but they were designed to run on leaded gas, which uh, lubricated the rings or, and the valves, the uh, seats. And uh, so just something to be aware of. Look at that, just takes off. I'm doing, uh, I'm doing about 65 miles an hour, hands off. Suspension feels great. The brakes are nice, very nice. underneath the T-Bird and it's just a you know it's a really original undercarriage it's uh, there's no rust the floors are nice and straight and solid and uh, you know it's, it's damp like any old car but it's not it's not puddling or anything so that's normal especially for a Ford and uh, as you get in here you can see the inner rockers are in really nice shape along with the floors, as I said, and, and also the inner wheel wells, because that's usually where your problems kind of materialize first, and then they spread. So look, it's just nice and solid. And same back here, hard to see with the exhaust there, but with the, uh, the rear lower quarters look really good. And up here as well, you can see there, all the factory stuff is there. There's nothing kinky going on there. And coming back to this side, you can see again, the inner rockers and the floors are just great under here. Very nice car. So overall, you know, pretty impressive. This is just a, again, this car came out of Marin County, just one county over originally brand new. And it's, uh, I mean, it's actually really low mileage you know, considering its age and the undercare is just super original looking. Looks good.
So I'd like to take the magnet. You know, the car has what it looks to be, and I'm, I'm sure it's just one respray of the original Wimbledon white. So it's nice to go around with a really lightweight magnet and see what we get. And that's a little dirty there. Dang detail guy. <laughs> but it's grabbing nice and readily. Same with the doors. And so this is nice. So far, I don't see anything that would indicate we have filler going on here or rust repair or anything of that nature from the way the magnet's grabbing. Now, that's not to say there may not be something. I mean, I'm not psychic, but the old magnet test is it's pretty good. Let's go take a look back here. Excellent. All right, moving around. So far, it's just grabbing really nicely everywhere. Yeah, so far, this is, this is really good. And you know, these cars, a lot of these old cars, they have a tendency to rust in the door corners because the, uh, the tops would leak. So this really just seems like a car that's probably always been garaged. And there it is, very nice.